Kama uko na followers wako 1 million, alafu unatembea kutoka hapa mpaka Kirogoya, wewe jua tu hatuwezi kufuata. But Jesus alikuwa na mbogi, multitude zinamfollow. Ni aje DJ Raf hapa, uko ndani ya DJ Raf TV, of course, Sheng Bible Study. Thank you so much kwa somo kwa na sisi kutoka episode 1. Tumekuwa tukigo through the Bible from Matthew. Na bado tuko ndani ya Matthew but we've taken a break kidogo kwa sababu we have so much content that tuko nataka ku record, tuko nataka ku prepare just for you. So this is what is going to be happening every Monday ndakuwa hapa hivi ya Bible tunasoma word tunakula neno pole pole alafu every friday tutakuwa na a feature a featured guest and starting this friday tutakuwa na apostle T ama pastor T ama Mr T najua wase wengi pia wana look forward to that so kutakuwa na topical discussions by Mr T alafu mimi ndakuwa na go through bible verse by verse so tuko kwa Matthew chapter 6 na hii ni conversation Christ alikuwa nayo na bonga na wase alikuwa ana preach ya wase from Matthew chapter 5 ni sermon on the mount so tukiingia verse 5 ni about prayer na prayer tume tackle before but leo tunasoma about prayer life ya Jesus Yes, prayer life ya Jesus. Ushaiuliza na msema, "Nze prayer life yako iko aje?" Ama ushaika uka feel, "Nze prayer life yangu inafaa ku improve." Here's the thing. Jesus ni son of God. Jesus ni God. Na ye bado alikuwa na pray. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu alikuwa anatufundisha sisi on how to pray, on how to live a Christian life. So, verse 5 it says, "And when you pray, you shall not be like the hypocrites." Before we continue, acha tuanze hapo. When you pray, See or if you pray it's the same as, as fasting it's a matter that you have to take seriously because it is not a question of ukijisikia once once pengine unaweza pray z uki pray you shall not be like the hypocrites it is a must for you to pray i just check some instances ama some mentions of jesus praying times flani in the bible that jesus prayed and now to realize ni kwa nini ilikuwa so important at his baptism me by the way to be honest nikifanya study ya kukam kuabongesha leo ndio nili realize eh i didn't notice that jesus when he was baptized ali pray check your word luke 321 says when all the people were being baptized jesus was baptized too and as he was praying yes as he was praying heaven was opened and you know the story and the holy spirit descended on him uh, bodily um, in bodily form like a dove and a voice came from heaven you are my son whom i love with you i am well pleased christ ali baptizedwa manzi ashaanza kubonga na god ashaanza ku pray another time regular time of withdrawal from the crowds unajua nishai wa show before that jesus alikuwa na actual followers kama uko na followers wako 1 million Alafu unatembea kutoka hapa mpaka Kirogoya. Wewe jua tu hatuwezi kufuata. But Jesus alikuwa na mbogi, multitude zinamfollow. So alikuwa na take some time from the crowd. Anaingia place, anatulia, ana pray. Let's see. Luke 5:16 says, "Yet the news about him spread all the more, so that crowds of people came to hear him and to be healed of their sicknesses, but Jesus often withdrew to lonely places and prayed." This is a challenge to us. Tafuta a lonely place. A lonely place means a place that you can be alone with God. Na najua ni hard sa ingine ku find. But wase wenye wako Kiambu Road, Limuru Road, ka unaweza karibia place kama Karura, unaweza ingia Boreta mpia, a lonely place unaingia tu kwa peke yako na God. It was important to Jesus, it is important to us. Before preaching in Galilee, that's another time that Christ ali pray. Tunaambiwa hivi Mark 1:35. Now in the morning Having risen a long while before daylight take note he went out and departed to a solitary place again a lonely place and there he prayed and Simon and those who were with him searched for him when they found him they said to him everyone is looking for you ah see i realize the secret of that lonely place of that solitary place na hiyo ndio kitu tunafaa kufanya jua the power that you will have in that place kwa sababu yeye alikuwa ana preach alikuwa na heal wase yani power alikuwa nayo ilikuwa out of this world before walking on water that's another time imagine every time before something major happened christ alikuwa na pray 
Hiyo ubendeza soma uh, three different scriptures Matthew 14:23, Matthew 6:46 na John 6:15. Tutasoma 14:23 which says and when he had sent the multitudes away he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. Now when evening came he was alone there but the boat was now in the middle of the sea tossed by the waves for the wind was contrary. So hizi vitu zote ziliki happen alikuwa na bonga na God alikuwa na pray so he had enough power remember alikuwa god lakini pia alikuwa man alikuwa in human form so lazima angefanya all these things to show us how to survive as humans another major major occasion before choosing the 12 disciples jesus prayed luke 6:12 it says now it came to pass in those days that he went out to the mountain to pray and continued all night in prayer to god acha tu pause hapo kidogo how prayerful are you how prayerful am i i will be honest with you as i'm speaking to you it to niongelesha because i'm not as prayerful i'm not even close to be as prayerful as i should be yani jesus na yani god he went out to the mountain to pray alienda kwa mountain and continued all night in prayer to god have you ever continued in prayer all night na najua easy place yenye unaanza tu then ushapiga whole night lakini si tujaribu manze tujaribu kupiga ka, ka 10 minutes ka 20 minutes weka simu kando enda tu pray na usifikirie about time just speak to god and when it was day he called his disciples to himself and from them he chose 12 whom he also named apostles after that ukitakusoma utacheki the names of the disciples let's move forward before peter's confession luke 9:18 says and it happened as he was alone praying that his disciples joined him and he asked them saying who do the crowd say that i am what do sema mimi nani of course unajua hii scripture i think umeisikia so they answered and said john the baptist but some say elijah others say that one of the old prophets has risen again He said to them, but who do you say I am? Peter answered and said, the Christ of God. That's another instance, the transfiguration. Tukifika Luke tutaisoma in detail what, what was going on, uh, but 929 of Luke says as he prayed, the appearance of his face was altered and his robe became white and glistening, and behold, two men talked with him who were Moses and Elijah. Alikuwa na pray aiko inakaa tu hivi transfiguration ina happen ana choose disciples ana preach z another major occasion before teaching his disciples the lord's prayer tuko in matthew na christ alikuwa anabonga to the multitudes alikuwa anabonga na wase next episode tunabonga about the lord's prayer una cheki but pia two years later in luke 11 verse 1 ali teach the disciples the same prayer it says now it came to pass as he was praying in a certain place when he seized that one of his disciples said to him lord teach us to pray as john also taught his disciples imagine that before our teach ku pray ye mwenye alikuwa na pray hakuwa na teach kitu yenyewe ajui ama kitu yenyewe yeye ha practice another time praying for simon peter's faith in luke 22:32 Yasema, but I have prayed for you Simon that your faith may not fail and when you have turned back strengthen your brothers. Imagine, aliambia tu Simon Peter manze nimekupraya. So I find this so interesting that Jesus badala ya tu kumwambia niaje nimekupatia hiyo faith. Alimwambia zi nimekupraya kwa nini again as an example to us. How many times do we pray for other people? Ama ni, ni about to God mimi manze Sayu kanipatia tu do ni sawa ndio but Christ alikuwa na tushow manze pray for other people not just about material things pray for the church pray for your pastor that faith yake is kuwe shaken ndio aweze kutu strengthen sisi kama congregation au sio then um, I'll just read the next portion of scripture from verse 5 ni interesting sana because we have like one or two lessons here when you pray you shall not be like the hypocrites to mesoma hiyo for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the corners of the streets that they may be seen by men assuredly i say to you they have their reward but you when you pray go into your room when you have shut uh, your door pray to your father who is in the secret place and your father who sees in secret will reward you openly And when you pray do not use vain repetition as the heathen do for they think that they will be heard for their many words therefore do not be like them for your father knows the things you have need of before you ask him a few things here god anajua what you need 
So mbona tuna ingi. Kama anajua mbona tuna pray God anataka that relationship anataka that his will be done on earth hataki ku force your relationship wewe ndo unafaa kumtafuta wewe ndo unafaa ku pray ah say ma hypocrites hao the pharisees kitu walikuwa nafanya walikuwa napenda ku pray pale kwa street corners history tells us ilikuwa in the third hour the sixth hour and the ninth hour yani saa tatu asubuhi saa sita na saa tisa. lazima wangeenda ku pray lakini walikuwa napenda yani wakienda ku pray wanataka kila mzee achiki eh manzeni saa sita ni hey, tunaenda ku pray wanasimama pale kwa street corners wameshaanza kuipiga hata before wafike kwa synagogue you see that is not right Christ anatuambia waenda tulia enda u pray god atakusikia then tumeambiwa tusifanye vain repetition vain repetition means meaningless repetition these guys walikuwa na wanarudia mawards Eh, Lord we love you. Lord we love you. But then it is okay to say Lord we love you. But usiseme meaningless in a meaningless way. Usiseme just for people to see. And you know what? Jesus himself alifanya some repetition in his prayer. Yes, Matthew 26:44 inatuambia Jesus repeated the same prayer three times. Jesus repeated the same prayer three times. Ukishajipata una pray, then manze wa zimeisha. Unabaki tu thank you Lord. Asante God. Asante God. Usijali. Is it meaningless repetition? It's not. Kama una mean what you're saying, then it is okay. In conclusion, wase prayer is a must. Lakini don't use prayer to brag. Usi try ku show wase when una pray sana. Kama uko ukinipreia si lazima ukamu uniambie eh hey, Rafman ze eh ni mko nikikupreia so mimi wa mka kama one eh, napiga prayer ya 2 3 hours unless you're telling me that to encourage me to also pray then hiyo ni kubrag achana nayo if you're encouraging me unaniambia manze Raf nimekuwa nikipre pia unafaa u join manze tunafaa tuende mlima and everything then that is okay in the next episode will be talking about the lord's prayer to meskia over and over and over kutoka nasari now we'll be understanding the power and why this is the most powerful prayer in the whole world god bless you iki to manzi aita bleed into it 1 2 3 4 hata tu nibonge solo then to skiza na hello next happy ziweza kwa zinaingia kwa recording yetu na sisi na sisi ile true through the mix if not then we continue and we'll see 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 that's enough to chest to test to chest